Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a pressing issue that many Python developers are encountering. Our viewer asks, since Yahoo discontinued their API support, Panda's data reader now fails. Let's dive into this challenge and explore potential workarounds. Welcome back guys to another technical help question. I'll be going through the question, the answers, and hoping to help find that answer. Guys, I hope you stay crazy just a little bit like me and get through and work to the solution. Now let's get started. Since Yahoo has discontinued their API support, the Pandas Data Reader Library can no longer fetch data from Yahoo Finance. This results in an HTTP error 401, indicating unauthorized access. To work around this issue, we can use an unofficial library called Y Finance. This library allows us to download historical market data from Yahoo Finance without needing an API key. Let's see how to use Y Finance to fetch the same data. First, import the library and then use the download function to get the data for Google. Now you can easily access the historical data for Google. This method is a temporary workaround until a more permanent solution is available. Additionally, if you're looking for alternative data sources, you might consider using Quandl. They offer various financial data sets, but some may require an API key. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To fix the issue with Python Pandas Data Reader for Yahoo Finance, you can use the new package called Y Finance. Here's a quick example of how to download stock data. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Yahoo Finance has changed its URL and now uses cookie protection, which breaks the functionality of Python's Pandas data reader. A user found a workaround using DryScrape, a tool that emulates a browser. The user warns that using this workaround may violate Yahoo's terms and conditions, so proceed at your own risk. They are also exploring Quandl as an alternative for end-of-day price data. To implement the solution, the user initializes a dry scrape session, visits the Yahoo Finance page, and retrieves the download link for historical data. They then modify the URL to set custom date ranges. Finally, the user downloads the CSV data and converts it into a Pandas data frame for analysis. This allows for further data manipulation and visualization. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're having trouble with Yahoo Finance in Python Pandas Data Reader, consider switching to Google Finance. Simply change the data source in your code. You'll also need to update your stock ticker symbols. 
Add the exchange prefix to each symbol for Google Finance. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're having trouble with Python's Pandas data reader for Yahoo Finance, here's a solution. You can use the Fix Yahoo Finance library to download stock data. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To access Yahoo Finance data using Pandas, you can use the Pandas Data Reader Library. First, import the necessary libraries, then specify the stock ticker, start date, and data source. Finally, use the Data Reader function to fetch the data and create a data frame. And that's it, guys. I hope we've gone through the question and found that solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.